Jos Pil. Jos Pil is researcher and consultant on internationalization of the curriculum at the Center for Applied Research into Economics and Management at the Amsterdam University of Applied Science. He is chair of the Special Interest Group Internationalization at Home of the European Association for International Education and visiting fellow at Leeds Metropolitan University Center for Academic Practice and Research in Internationalization. Jos Billen has been working on the internationalization of curricula in higher education since 2004. He takes special interest in the collaboration between teacher training programs and schools in the field of internationalization. Um, internationalization at home is an ambitious project because it depends on the goodwill um, um, and co collaboration between uh, universities and faculties. Um, what are the main strategies of interna internationalization at home in general? I think the main strategy would be to look at the curriculum of individual programs and not at universities as a whole, but try to to define what the international and the intercultural dimension means for a particular program um, because then it is possible to give it more meaning than the general terms and the general rhetoric at a um, university level. So the context is what, what is most important in this concept. In your lecture, the limited interest of academic staff and faculties got the second place out of the top three internal obstacles of internalization at home. What are the benefits of internalization at home for lecturers and academic staff? And why do you think is there such a lack of interest? I think the, um, one of the problems is that for many academic staff, the focus is completely on research. Um, and on the discipline um, and not so much on how you teach that discipline or how learning takes place. So that means that um, academic staff are, are often just being assessed on their research output and, and less on their teaching. Um, and that is something that should definitely change. Uh, and it means that you should also support academic staff um, in building an international learning environment because what you see in this survey is that they um, they lack the engagement but also the skills because that's what comes out of the survey too. Mm -hmm. So I think there is a connection between engagement and skills and that is what should be addressed. Okay. Okay. Um, the third question would be what is the role of English concerning international Analyzation, um, at home. Haha, <laughs> the language point. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say that um, basically you do not need another language to give an international dimension to a course. Um, but of course, if you start reading literature in English, if you start getting a guest lecturer in, um, the English comes in as well. Um, but basically, you don't need English for the international dimension and the fact that it is in English doesn't make it international um, and if it's international it is not always in English but there is of course um, a link I mean having a command of English opens up um, a much bigger world um, but then we should see English for what it is it is a tool um, and speaking English and not doing anything with it um, is not worthwhile. So um, we should go beyond the English and look at the application of it. In the Friday lecture you showed a conceptual framework of internalization of the curriculum. How would the ideal internalization at home curriculum look like from your point of view? I think the uh, ideal international dimension of the curriculum or internationalized curriculum uh, would be developed um, together with alumni and students uh, and for a particular discipline or program. 
um, so that it is addressing the issues that are important um, as competences in that particular program. Um, so yes, very much in context, um, but with input from people who are out in the, in the world of work and not just inward looking group of people in a university that say, well, this is what our program is like, but more open to the outside world. Do you mean like a mixed bag from both sides? Yes, yes. Um, I think there should definitely be... I mean, if, if you look at where, where graduates work, mm -hmm. it's only a min small minority of them become researchers in university, and the big majority goes out into the world of work, and it will be very valuable um, to hear from them what they encounter in their, in their professional practice and how that could be integrated into the program for, for present students. Thank you, Mr. Bailen. <laughs> Thank you.